This is the Bob Cordaro Show on TV. They fought for us, now he'll fight for you. The pursuit of justice and liberty. It's the Bob Cordaro Show on TV. And now, Bob Cordaro. Great good morning, everyone. Uh, last year, uh, maybe a month or so after this time, uh, my friend Phil Odom was on to tell us about his incredible life story. And when we did the interview, we talked about him coming back this year because of a basketball tournament he's running for about 25 years. And Phil Odom is with us today. Phil, welcome back. It's always hey, so good to see it's, you. It's always great to see you, Bob. Yeah. You know, you look great. It's great to be here. <laughs> Phil's good to be here. It's like, well, I needed it's... makeup. You didn't. didn't <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, keeps you young, though. Right? Yeah, Any right. way to keep you right. young. That's right. Um, but, so you've had this tournament going for how many years? 25 years. All right. Tell us how it started. Tell us what it's about, what it's sure. for, and the floor is yours. Okay, um, so 25 years ago, I started this tournament uh, working through uh, Judge Barace, and I said I wanted to do something to give back to the community. So um, I started <clears throat> this tournament in order to raise Thanksgiving dinners for families who are underprivileged throughout the community, right? And then as years went along, we said, okay, well, um, at the time, I think Bolus was doing the turkey thing mm -hmm. at the cultural center. And I said, I wanted mine to be different where people are not standing outside to have mm -hmm. to wait for turkeys. And I want to give them a whole dinner. Mm -hmm. So I said, let me just do it anonymously. After my tournament, all the proceeds raised, we just go and just push it towards Thanksgiving dinners for the you know families within the projects. And at the time, God bless the dead, June DeWitt was alive and she was running Washington Plaza, mm -hmm. as well as um, I was going up to Bangor. So we would then donate Thanksgiving dinners there. And then progressively time went on and unfortunately, um, Cody Brace passed away. He used he, to work. He used to help, he used to help me. Yo, him and I used to be out there myself, Krista McGough and him used to be out delivering Thanksgiving dinners all night to, to the projects, to these, you know, the different projects out. Yeah. And then um, I named it after him because he used to help me so much. So we, you know, we continued to do it, you know, into his, you know, now into his 25th years. And so all the proceeds go, you know, go for it. The teams don't have to uh, put up the money. I get, I have a tremendous amount of great sponsors for, for over the 25 years that, yeah. that like to help out. And who, I think that's who, who what's are, about. Who are the standouts? Because they deserve mention that uh, they've been with you on this. Mr. Lavelle was, you know, always been there. Um, Debbie Prino got me a ton of, uh, of sponsors. Uh, Bernie Hart, um, Brian Walsh, good mm -hmm. friend of mine, helped. Um, my brother-in-law, RJ, he, he's always helped. The Scranton School District has always helped and, and wish that I'm employed by. Um, those probably are the standout. Glint of yeah. gold, Rocco is incredible, yeah. right? But you know, but Debbie got me like the ten with Rocco and all yeah. of those guys. Yeah. So it's been great to to have all of those people on board. How's the tournament out. happen? I mean, uh, is it a three on three? Is it a five? It's a five on five. And which that it where, where so do they popular. play? So we play. We we moved around for years. Now our home has been for the last fifteen years at Scranton High. So we play it on. It's always the first weekend in November. This year is the fourth and fifth. Um, it starts at 11, probably ends around six. Mm -hmm. um, but I think what made it popular, a lot of guys that I grew up with in New York come up to play. Oh, neat. So everybody wants to play against the guys yeah, yeah. that are from New York. So uh, um, a lot of my friends come in and participate and play. And it's, it's about family, right? What's, it, what's the age uh, groups? It's unlimited. You know, okay, so anybody so can participate. It's just kid, not, right. So it's like high school and up, yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, and, and the reason that I did it is because my mother, as you know, last time I was on, I told you how my mother was an addict and and we didn't have Thanksgiving dinners or Christmas or anything like that. So we really struggled during those times. So I figured the best place to donate to is treatment court, because during that time, a lot of families are put out and they like, how can I get dinner for the family? Yeah. So um, that's why I started with, along with, you know, with the help of Cody and donated to, to, to treatment court. Yeah. And I figured this was a fitting place because that's where families usually uh, take a hit at. So it's November 4th and 5th. 5th. Yeah, 4th and 5th at Scranton Grand High School. Yes. Munchak Way. Yes. Um, yep. And then I have a website, 
letshoopout.net and wish that you could go on there and register a team. And, and I, my number is on let's, there. So. Letshoopout.net because yes. I want to get that on the yeah, board. Yeah, uh, Mark, yep, so Mark, you'll put it on the board. Letshoopout.net. And um, I think that, you know, it's an opportunity. Like we, we have all the sponsors listed on it. Uh, we have everybody who has contributed throughout the years uh, monetarily. Mm -hmm. on there so it's a, it's a, just a great opportunity for people to come out and support and and realize what the quiet way like i really didn't i don't really don't want to publicize it because you don't do it for the publicity aspect of it is the donations that help make it possible but i just came on so you know just to, to let others know that you know you're more than welcome to yeah. come and participate and play uh, phil the sting of of those lost thanksgivings yeah as a kid has spurred you on and Imagine, you know, you're out delivering on a Wednesday night when everybody, that's a big party night. Yes, yes. You're out delivering food right. with others. Right. That's, that's got to feel good. Well, it was hard. Well, well yeah. think about this. Well, it feels good, but it hurts in the same way because it always takes you back to your trauma. Yeah. Right? It always takes you back to what you didn't have and how important it is to be able to give everybody else. Because, you know, like you sit there and you think like, wow, I can't believe I was here. I was, yeah. This was me. Yeah. Right. And I but we didn't have anybody like me delivering Thanksgiving dinners. We just didn't have it. Yeah. So I just wanted I didn't want anybody to feel that. Right. When, yeah. Especially when you're dealing with a family of addiction and you have these kids and these families and people are looking up to you and they're trying to figure out how I'm going to do it. I want to be the person that say, listen, I, I'll help you. You know, so it's, it's always been a blessing to have the support from the community. So, so it's the Cody Brace tournament. It, no, it's what the you, Let's what, Hoop Out tournament. Let's Hoop Out tournament. But That's what the, I wanted. In, 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 in memory of Cody, Cody Brace. Brace. So it's Let's Hoop Out Because I knew tournament. they had the, the Cody Brace tournament. Yeah, they, they do. Yes, they, it's, so it's two different things. So they have the Cody Brace tournament that goes for something totally different. Yes. This is the Let's Hoop Out tournament in memory of Cody Brace. Okay. So that's the difference between the two. All right. Important for people. How do they help? How do uh, they step up? How do they... Get in touch. Just I think the, the most through the website through or, the website. or through, through you. the website. Just go through the website. It's the best way of contacting me. My number is, is available on there. Um, or you could stop at the bank and uh, ask for Krista McGough. She's at People's Security. That she's Downtown. she's 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 been with me for twenty five years. Right. That has been the right hand person helping me yeah. out for twenty five years, helping with donations and things like that. So it's always been her that that helps me out. So she's the money person. She takes care of everything. I don't take care of any of that stuff. She's a person that deals with it. I just deal with trying to organize it, get it together, and making sure that well, organizing person. the tournament's not easy. <laughs> no, 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 no. How it's many not. teams do you expect? Only 10. I only allow 10 to participate because anything beyond that gets out of control. You know, and mm -hmm. you don't and, and it's hard to house it, right? Yeah. You 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 wanna and like I said, it's just really coming together to get people to just see it, you know, to contribute and have a feeling to listen, this is what you're contributing towards, you know. Yeah. So come out and support and have fun and 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 play some basketball and 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 know what you're contributing to and just you move play forward. Anymore. No, I retired years <laughs> ago. I'm over. Did you, you know? play the first few years? The first few years I participated in, and then, then when you your body says you crazy, <laughs> yeah. your, your body lets you know. So just because you look like you can, no, don't I, try I, it. I don't even want to look like I can anymore. I'm just like I'll be a passer, you know, like like the ball to the ref, not the ball to somebody <laughs> on the team. So. And, and and like I said, there's always been great people who contribute to referees. God bless um, Mr. Travis, always helped with referees. Um, Dennis Mishko, uh, Mr. Gronsky, um, Dr. Gronsky has always helped. Um, he's a good friend of mine, Joe Gronsky, mm -hmm. just retired um, for being a dentist, but he was a tremendous friend. So, so well, it's this like is that. this is great stuff. Well, I appreciate you having me yeah. on, you know, because I really don't. I, I'm not here. To, to, to come on to say, hey, you have to come out to do this. I'm here because uh, it's, I want people to be aware of that. That it's happening. It's happening. That, but also that there's, there's ways that you can contribute yeah. as well. I don't, I'm, I don't want to say I'm the end of all means, but there's other opportunities and other ways that you can be a part of it as well, especially with families. We're showing the website beneath you yes. through this whole interview so okay. people can find you. Well, well I appreciate uh, that. We appreciate you being here and, 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 and love that you do this for all these years, Phil well, Odom. Well, thank you. Thank you for the platform. Thank you for the opportunities. I, you know, the first time, you know, and it's, and it's great because it's coming from somebody who knows me, right? Who, who understands what I do, why I do it. And, 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 and that's important to me. You know, 
well. So Phil thank Odom, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Road Scholar Transport is proud to sponsor Camp Freedom, where veterans go to heal and find peace. Go to roadscholar.com forward slash Camp Freedom today and tell our veterans what their sacrifice means to you. Your message may be chosen for display on Road Scholar Transport trailers to be seen by thousands of people. Show our veterans how much you care. Send them your message today. Road Scholar Transport, a higher standard. Well, this week's Road Scholar Transport Power Brunch Player of the Week is Dr. Mark Albert. And he's got a company called CBD Intech. And I, I, I know him forever. And he's, he's practiced medicine for decades. And uh, he, gets, he got into this, which got me into it. Because I said, now, if somebody this good, this smart, who's been taking care of people for all these years is interested in it, now I am. Uh, but first, let's say welcome. Dr. Albert, how are you? <laughs> Welcome, Bob. Hi, how are you? Good. Uh, so tell us, uh, a lot of people don't know, and until you and I started talking, I didn't know what CBD is. Right. Explain to it, what is it, what's the concept, and it appears to do a lot of things based on the different products you find it in. And that's true. Uh, CBD is... Uh, technically, it's called a phytocannabinoid, but I'll, I'll explain that a little bit more. Um, it's a substance that's found in either hemp or cannabis or marijuana, mm -hmm. which are both can forms of cannabis. Mm -hmm. So it's something that's found in cannabis. Our CBD comes from hemp. Uh, it does come from marijuana. It does not come from marijuana. So uh, and so, it's basically a and molecule. Way, you guys are involved in your own. Hemp production as well. Correct. We, so you're, you're, you're covering quality control from start to finish. Right. This is a seed to shelf organization where we are involved with uh, the company who does all the extracting. They're called AgriHemp. They're in Mayfield, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, and they get the uh, best hemp from the state, really. From It's all from the state of Pennsylvania. It's all USA grown. And, and they pick out the best quality product and they extract the CBD from there. So this is done from seed to shelf so that we know exactly what's in the product that we have. I, I thought that was important. I thought that was different. Well, it's critical actually, because yeah. I mean, the most important thing in CBD is to make sure that you're getting a quality product that's just CBD. You know, as you can imagine, you can go to a lot of the local convenience stores or whatever, you know, whatever kind of shop you want to walk into and buy CBD now. Yeah. But you don't really know what's honestly in that CBD. You know, there have been quite a few studies where they've taken CBD products from, let's say, hundreds of different people. And they find out sometimes there's like no CBD in some of the products. Yeah. So it's important to know where you're getting it from. And so that's what's nice about, you know, our product. It's it's seed to shelf. We know exactly what's in it. Uh, it's medical grade. You know, it's important yeah. to have a, like a medical grade product. That's what we're trying to do because... Because it's such a wonderful product. As you know, a physician, a, it's important to you. <laughs> well, it's critical, yeah. And uh, it's such a wonderful product. And you want to make sure you're getting the best you can and not, you know, some stuff you're buying off the shelf somewhere else, you know. Well, I also noted, and we've got the packaging in front of us. You didn't fool around with the packaging. I mean, everything is first quality. Everything is high level. And I I, I don't know. I, just, I found that to be attractive as well. I, I knew that you did your own hemp and, and were in control of that production, which is very critical, as you mentioned. But then everything about it just seems to work and be attractive. Uh, well, thank you. I mean, we try, we're trying our best. You, yeah. know, we, uh, you know, we were, for what it's worth, we were endorsed by one of the sharks, Kevin Harrington. I think the poster is sitting behind you there. You know, uh, we were their wellness CBD product for, I think, 2021 or 2022 mm -hmm. because it's a quality product. They took all our products and they tested them and they found them to be good products and they chose us as their representative. So it's a quality product. It's, you don't have to worry what you're getting with it. You know, you know, yeah. you know, it's good stuff. All right. So CBD, you use the complex name. You could use it again if you'd like. Tell us. Why does it work? Well, why, do, why does it have so many applications? Well, listen, CBD, the reason I got into this is CBD is like a hidden gem. It really is. It's the hidden gem that people don't know about. You know, let me, let me just give you an example. There, there was a study in the European Journal of Internal Medicine, which is a high quality publication. It's hard to get in published. And they studied over 3,500, well, seniors, people over 50. 
you know, mm -hmm. um, and who had medical problems, whether it was cancer, diabetes, pain, anxiety. And they found that the CBD helped 66% of the people for pain, 65% of the people for anxiety, and 48% of the people for insomnia. Now, if you think about those numbers, those are incredible numbers. Think yeah, about it. That's yeah. two out of three. That means you have 100 people, 66 of them, it's helping their pain, 66, it's helping their anxiety, and 50% it's helping them sleep better. I mean, there are very few products that can do that. Yeah. You know, um, so it's really a hidden gem, but people just don't know about it, you know? Would it be considered drug-free or organic? What, 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 well, what, no, it's what an category? all natural, it comes from yeah. hemp. So it's basically yeah. considered an all natural supplement. Yeah. You know, I'm not supposed to, it's technically not a medicine. It's not supposed to be called a medicine. Yeah. You know, um, there are restrictions. That's a good thing though. <laughs> Correct, well, I don't know, yeah. But How that, long do you want to take medicine for? This is something you can do. Yeah, and it's time. really very safe. Like, like you, I've, there's never been a documented overdose from CBD, ever. Yeah. Like you could drink bottles of it and you're not, you can't overdose on it. So. It's really very safe. Um, you know, el elderly people who are on certain medicines, you know, they, I, I always want to talk to them to make sure because, you know, it can interact a little bit with some medicines here and there. But overall, even the people, you know, who are on the medicines where they say it interacts with, I haven't had very many problems at all. You know, it's really been good. All right. Let's take the roster uh, of specific products from your left to right and, and just discuss what they are. Well. This one is just a massage oil, so that's self-explanatory. Okay. This is our CBD pain cream, which is an awesome product. Um, let me explain to you how CBD works. Um, <clears throat> and this is the, like the, one of the keys to the whole thing. You have different uh, systems in your body. You have your respiratory system, you have your cardiovascular system, uh, you have your skeletal system, you have your reproductive system. You also have what they call your endocannabinoid system. In 1990, and this has only been around for like 30 years, it's only been discovered for 30 years. That's why even a lot of doctors don't know about this, let alone mm -hmm. patients. Um, in 1990, an Israeli scientist, while investigating cannabis, discovered an entirely new system in the human body. He called it the endocannabinoid system because he was investigating cannabis at the time. And when you look at the, if you look at a schematic of where the receptors are for endocannabinoid receptors, it fills your entire body. If you look at your skeletal system, it's just your bones and muscles. If you look at your GI system, it's just your stomach and this. If you look at your endocannabinoid system, it covers your entire body. These are receptors in your body that need to be saturated for them to work. This is the key. This is why you need CBD. There are very few things in our natural diet that contain CBD. There are some products, there's some uh, like clove, uh, some, uh, some gingers that do it. There's uh, certain uh, vegetables like broccoli and kale that have some CB in it, CBD in it. But mostly, most humans do not get enough CBD. So they can't saturate those receptors. And though it's, it's almost, let me, let me make a comparison. It's like the serotonin receptors that they talk about for antidepressants, uh, you know, medicines and stuff. There are more endocannabinoid receptors than serotonin receptors in your body. So you have to saturate these receptors and that's why you need to do the CBD. And it's responsible for pain, anxiety, and just a general sense of well-being. So even if you don't have pain and you don't have any anxiety, if you saturate your receptors, you get this general sense of just wellness mm -hmm. that, that a lot of people don't have. Um, the best way to describe it is you don't necessarily feel anything, but you feel the absence of negative symptoms. Okay. So if you had some pain, oh, wow, that pain's not there anymore. Or if you, you were a little anxious, well, I'm not as anxious as I used to be, you know? And that's what it does. Um, it's important. It's different for different people. Some people, the effects are immediate. Some people have to take it for an entire month, just like the antidepressants. Mm -hmm. you know, the doctor mm -hmm. gives you an antidepressant, he'll say, listen, you have to take this for the whole month. It might not start to work till the third or fourth week. Yeah. And that's the way it is with CBD because you have to saturate these receptors. But they're all over your body, from your head to your toes. Most of them are in your brain and your gut and your joints. So that's where most of the CBD works. It works on brain. It, it helps people with their mental health. It works on your gut yeah. and it works on arthritis and pain. It's Sounds awesome. like the three most important places for it to do it. it. Well, it's awesome stuff. That's why everybody should be on it. And that's one of the really one of my goals. I'd like everybody, it should be in the water. Yeah. That's how important it is. Yeah. You need to saturate these receptors so that you just feel more, more whole, you know? Uh, you've been practicing medicine for decades and uh, uh, you do emergency uh, medicine as well. 
so I mean, you've you've checked this out, and you said, well, this should be part of what someone does for their regimen, daily regimen. Absolutely, yeah. I, I take it three times a day. You know, I take it in the morning, the afternoon, and the night. I mean, uh, even if you just take it once a day, eventually you'll saturate your receptors, and and yeah. you'll just start to feel better. You know. All right. How do I? I'm sort of, I'm tired or this, or I've got aches and pains and so forth. How do I start this process? Do I just go to the store? Well, we, you can come what? to the store, which is in the Dunmore Plaza, the Burger King Dunmore Dunkin' Donuts Plaza. Mm -hmm. uh, we're in that plaza. You can come there or we have an online uh, store that's cbdintact.com and we'll deliver it to you. It's mm -hmm. free delivery. So you could do that also, cbdintact.com. Um, but, okay, so say somebody comes in the store. And yeah, I, another advantage I is, don't know anything about it. Another I come to Dr. Albert and I say, uh, and I and your store, and I say, I don't know, I got some aches and pains, and I feel a little sluggish, and some days I feel a little anxious. Right. Well, my first question will be, well, how bad is your pain and how bad is your anxiety? Because mm -hmm. there are certain, do I mean... The doses might depend on your level of pain. Obviously, you might need a lower dose if you have mild pain versus a higher dose if you have more severe pain. Um, and we will usually try to titrate you. In other words, it, I'll ask you how patient you are, first of all. Yeah. You know, if someone's patient, then you could start low and go slow, you know, which is the best way to do it. You know, if someone doesn't have the patience, then sometimes they want to start with a higher dose right away. But the point is, I'll ask them, okay, I, I actually have like a list that I've made up. Like if you have mild pain, this is your dose. If you have a moderate pain, this is your dose. If you have severe pain, this is your dose. And you can choose either oils like I have here on, you know, um, that you put under your tongue, which tend to work the best um, versus we have capsules and tablets. We have some gummies too that you could take. Uh, we have some gummies My that are awesome for sleep. Yeah, my awesome son stole sleep. the gummies. On. Yeah, yeah, already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, and one big advantage is that anybody who wants to buy anything from us, I'll give them a call if they want to talk to me, and I'll talk to them about the medical, you know, situation. Like, you get a lot of elderly people who are very, you know, reluctant to do this. You know, um, they don't want to mix with their medicines and stuff. It's so, new. I'd yeah. be glad to talk to whoever you know ever wants. We have a actually have a hotline where people can call in and we'll talk to them. So. You know, it, it, it's, and you can't get that at a convenience store. You can't get that at a convenience store. <laughs> so the store is open what hours? So. Well, we're open 11 to 3, Monday through Friday. Okay. Uh, and uh, obviously the online store is 24-7. So. Yeah. Which, uh, which products, like t let, let's continue to go down the road. Sure. You said you had the, the massage oil. And then next is the one with the dropper. Tell us about that. Well, this, these these are our uh, oils that we have, and th these are our most co commonly sold products. Uh, we have multiple doses. We can start at 600 milligrams, and we can go all the way up to 2,500, which is what this is. Uh, this happens to be our bottle for women. We have a it has a, a special uh, a couple special hormones in here for women that might help them a little bit better uh, for their pain. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we also have products for pets and animals. Don't get me started on pets. This, this is, this, that's a whole different topic. We could talk forever on pets. This stuff is awesome for pets. Yeah. If you have an older pet that has any pain, even if he's older, but if he has any pain or any arthritis, I think you're kind of remiss if you don't start this stuff because it's awesome. I mean, the nurses that I work with, all their pets are on this stuff. It just helps. I mean, your pet might not be walking too good because he's older and you give him this stuff and all of a sudden he's walking better. So we have our older dogs on it you know, every day. So the pet stuff is awesome. So CBD for, should really be for any living, living animal. I mean, it's given the horses, it's given yeah. the cows, it's given the, anything that lives really has to saturate those receptors. Uh, so you're sort of kickstarting this business now, again, post pandemic. Right. And uh, this array of products, I guess you just really have to look at the website. Or you got to go to the store and say, and, and talk with somebody and say, hey, wh what could I use? What should I use? What should I have? Right. I mean, and that would be best, certainly, if you could do that. You know, and like I said, we'll give somebody a call and talk to them about what they need and what they want. But yeah. uh, we have a whole bunch of products and it, it's just awesome stuff. You know, it, like I said, I think it's a hidden gem that people should be trying, you know. The, 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 yeah, the CBD, it, it seemed, what do you say to someone who said, this is another fad? 
this is another, you know, another one of those things they have on TV that, that, uh, you know, they, they don't really do any good, but it's a placebo effect. Well, but what do you say? To, how do you respond? Uh, my to answer that? is just the proof is in the pudding. Try it and see what happens. Yeah. You know, if someone's a really skeptic, you're not going to convince them, but, uh, you know, try it and see what happens. You have a two out of three chance it's going to work. That's the way I look at it from yeah. the studies I read, you know. Like, so, well, like, awesome. every, like anything else, it doesn't work for everybody, but true. but it may work to some degree for almost everybody. True. And that's true. And it's used in multiple other things. I mean, I have a, I also have a Suboxone practice. I don't know if you know what that is. It's for uh, the anti- for people who are trying to get off opiates. Yes, yes. You know, um, it's the drug for people trying to get off opiates. And it actually found out that CBD actually works well for those people too. It helps them. It's similar receptors kind yeah. of. That, so it's good for, for something like that too. It's just better for natural whole wellness. You know? Yeah. yeah. So, so it's, I mean, it's a wonder substance from your medical perspective. Well, yeah, it's <laughs> awesome. It's something that everyone should be doing and a lot of people aren't. That's the way I like it. Yeah. Yeah, a wonder drug. You know, but I don't want to call it a wonder drug because it's not. Well, I didn't say drug. I'm not yeah, supposed wonder, to say drug. It's wonder not a drug. substance. Yeah. Yeah. Wonder well, substance. I'd yeah. be concerned if it was a drug. Yeah. I'm yeah. much more comfortable with it, and I've been using it. It's all natural. I'm much yeah. more comfortable that it's not. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I mean, drug. It's awesome. Drug stuff. makes yeah. me perk up. Yeah. Well, uh, wait a minute. Guaranteed side effects. Yeah. And uh, like I said, with the pain cream, you have receptors on your skin too. Um, I, 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 that. CBD receptors on your skin that the, the cream works on. I, my one friend, the, you know, was a skeptic. And so he had two sore feet and I put the cream on one of his feet and he said, ah, I gotta go. And he called me back 15 minutes by the time he got to Dunmore. He said, my one foot feels good and the other foot hurting. So we well, gotta come up and do my other foot. <laughs> you know, so the pain cream's an awesome stuff. It really is. Uh, you know, and, and it's good for tendonitis. Yeah. It's good for tendonitis and sore muscle. Like if you have a tendonitis, there's not much you could do. Yeah, you know, yeah, you take yeah. a Motrin and Advil, it doesn't really do much, you know, but this cream really helps stuff like that and sore muscles. It's just awesome. It's fascinating. I, I, and, and I've, I've only come to it because of, because of you, because of your great little company. Uh, but I, I'm becoming a believer. I will tell you that, uh, they just, so, so it's the website or the store 11 to three, right? Monday and through they Friday. Can come try it out. Yeah. And, and if they have any questions, I'll give them a call you know, and we could talk about what they might need. Uh, and yeah, uh, there's a lot of help. If yeah. you, if you're a, it reminds me of that song, I'm a Believer. <laughs> <laughs> By the monkeys. <laughs> uh, CBD Intact is the company. Uh, Dr. Mark Albert is one of the founding fathers. And uh, I appreciate you being with us today. And Telling us a little bit about this. It's, it's, that's important stuff. Well, my Thank pleasure. You. Thank you for having Thank me. Thank you, Doc. All right. Thanks. You've got an appointment every Sunday morning at 1130 right here on WNEP TV. They fought for us. Now he'll fight for you. The pursuit of justice and liberty. It's the power.